on stage. She is the only female presenter. She was a little bit nervous at the beginning, but this immediately will stop when you give her a big hand as she walks up. So um, maybe some of you will uh, remember that um, we have uh, built a technical uh, um, a working group um, which consists out of uh, Constitute, Bavarian State, Amera and Spalik. And in this group, we are looking how to handle everyday life challenges with copper plated blanks. And who do not know the effect of darkening, especially if you touch the coins and blanks or you transport them by ship. Another challenge um, are spots. The supplier sent um, good looking and bright and shiny blanks and when they arrived, the customer um, have to notice it that there are spots on the surface. Spots on blanks was already a subject of my presentation on the World Money Fair 2012. Furthermore, I have report about our comparison of different drying processes. And um, how this story went on, I'm going to tell you in this presentation. First, I would like to say something about spots. If we talk about spots, we mean dark points with high contrast against the surrounding. But what are the reasons for? We have made several tests and the re results of the test are um, if mercury humidity dry on the surface, the water remove, but in this place, uh, after a certain time, uh, we will see spots. And if I use the word mercury humidity, uh, I mean, you can see it on this picture, the visible um, water or humidity on the surface. And despite of um, that, I would like to explain the micro humidity. It's the humidity you can see at once of the surface. So what kind of solution can we find? And the solution is very easy. Uh, just remove micro Macro, sorry, macro humidity before drying with hot air or heat. So how could we transfer this solution into praxis? So the results confirm that we are on the right way with our textile dryer. So the textile removes the macro humidity while the heat removes the micro humidity. And this part I would like um, to say you have to stay um, be careful that um, on the surface of the coins is a good roll off effect. Otherwise, we transfer too much water uh, into the towel and there are get too wet. For who of uh, you don't know what I mean with roll off effect, um, the surface of the coins have a certain tension. And if the tension are very high, the water um, build a drop, and this drop remove very easily from the surface. Um, if you have a uh, low tension, um, the water will stay on the surface like a, a water film. And it's very um, um, difficult to remove it. Our textile is limited, a uh, textile dryer is limited to low batch sizes. But uh, you know, some of you have to dry big batch sizes. And um, uh, normally you use the hot air dryer. And how to remove the macro humidity of the hot dryer was um, our challenge. So we create an additional air blast system. And in this system, an air knife removes the macro humidity before, after, uh, before they get into the hot air dryer. And in the hot air dryer, we remove the micro humidity. Um, I forgot to say that the roll off effect in this part um, is important as well. So I would like to show you um, a small video 
uh, to give an impression how it could like in praxis. Oh, Axel, thank you. <laughs> so this is after separation, and uh, now you can see the air knife. And the air knife blows uh, the machen humidity away, and after that step, the coins go into the hot air dryer. And after that, we have to say, yes, we have the spots under control. So another point was darkening, or we can say tarnishing. And what is darkening or tarnishing? Um, the undesirable change in appearance of the surface of a coating as a result of external influences caused by turbidity within the film or on its surface. So, and how it look like in practice, you can sh uh, see on every coin, maybe you have, nearly everyone have it in your, um, in your, you know, <laughs> in your trousers, maybe. <laughs> so, we have to find a solution uh, for darkening or for tarnishing. And our working group um, made several tests. We tested different substances, uh, how to treat the substance. And after um, a few tests, we have found a substance. We named it conservation. And um, this conservation um, showed good results. And how we test conservation and uh, uh, what it can cause, I would like to show you in a short photo story. So we have taken circulation coins. We have refinished them and treated them with conservation. We have made a quick test in the laboratory and had a look at the results and they aren't bad. So we have started a field uh, test. Every member of our team got a test package. It was last year, by the way. And with a task, touch the coins every day. And after six weeks, um, we had a look at our results. And this is what we could see with Nordic Gold. And this uh, were the results with um, copper plated coins. And uh, you can see there's a significant um, uh, effect on the surface of the coins. And um, so we are pleased to find um, a substance which could not protect tarnishing um, at least, but it could inhibit its um, tarnishing. And um, one thing we have uh, regrettable notice that um, the minting destroys the protection against tarnishing particularly. So what is this in summary? So we say if you want to have shiny and bright blanks, it's recommended to optimize your drying process and um, you should add an additional step uh, with conservation to protect them for tarnishing. And furthermore, if you want to have protection coins with an inhibited of tarnishing, you should um, add an, several st an additional step with conservation for the coins. So, and in this step, we are thinking about solution praxis. So we have a lot of ideas, and we are sure we should um, add an additional maybe a kind of special machine. We don't know exactly at this time, but we have uh, different ideas. And this step should follow after, um, for, after, for blanks, after the drying process. And um, another way to use this um, product is after minting. And um, I know, Thomas, I know you don't like to be on stage more than one. Right. Correct. But in this time of my presentation, your face is the most suitable in this time. And I think your face is such a nice face. It should be allowed that your face will be a force on stage. Can I say that we have no affair? It's <laughs> <laughs> a working relationship. <laughs> so thank you, Thomas, for your picture. And thank you for your attention. <laughs>